<clears throat> Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Made with Love. My name is Heather. Uh, today is February 14th. It's almost 7.30 or just, no, maybe it's now. It's just after 7.30 at night. It's been a really busy morning or day, I guess. Uh, anyway, so I'm here in my kitchen. Uh, I'm going to make a special Valentine's supper for my husband. So I've got these, I can pick them up. Uh, this heart-shaped pasta. I got it from, I can't remember if it was from Winners or Marshalls. I can't remember which mall I was at, but I paid uh, $5.99. And see, anybody who knows me knows that I do not pay $6 for like a pound of pasta, but it's nice red heart-shaped pasta. So I thought as a one-time Valentine's thing, I would do it. And then I was going to make, uh, instead of doing my traditional uh, tomato sauce that I usually do, I was going to do the... Um, it called the alfredo sauce and i was looking at different recipes for the alfredo sauce but it was going to cost me like 13 dollars just for the cheese so i decided to do what i don't again something i don't normally buy and i bought the little jars of the this is the classico alfredo de toscana Tes so the mushroom alfredo sauce i thought we went with the other one I don't know, me and my daughter, we picked some up. I thought we went with the other one, but no, I guess we went with the mushroom one because I wanted the nice white sauce to give a nice contrast. So you can see the red hearts in the past, for the shape of the pasta. Again, I don't buy, oops, I don't buy little canned pastas. I sure don't buy the 400 mils ones. And these are like about almost $5 a jar, but they were on sale for $3.50, but you had to buy three. So that's what I'm going to be making. So I've already got my water for the pasta. I'm ready to get that to boil. And then I will be warming up the, the sauce. And then the other two things I'll be making is because my son asked if I was doing meat sauce. And I said, well, I'm making this special pasta and I didn't really want to do like hamburger with the Alfredo sauce. But I, oh, my thumb. I do buy these big bags from Superstore, $10. These are the fully cooked Italian style meatballs. And let's see, you get 1.8 kilograms, so almost two kilograms of meatballs for $10. Got that. And I also have, if I can just reach this, I also buy these large front French loaves from Superstore. They're about 95 cents. And I cut that in half, so I'm gonna make a garlic toast. I've got my jar of garlic um minced garlic or chopped garlic or whatever it is so i'm just gonna go to the other side of the island so you can see me preparing everything that i am making i'm sorry i just have to say um my my hair is blonde uh i just did that last night so if you go to my other channel uh beauty on a budget you'll see in the process to going blonde i also did my acrylics so I did a manicure and a pedicure. So you're going to hear me walking. And it's going to be clacking sound. It's because I had to go do a few things this evening. I still have to go pick up my husband from work. I had to go pick up my daughter from work and help her get uh, some stuff she was buying. And so I said I did a nice pedicure. I love it. So I was going to wear open-toed shoes today. And now it's snowing outside. So I was, oh, my feet are freezing. But I'm wearing my nice open-toed sand, like wedge sandals just so people could see my toes even though i'm not going anywhere now because i was going to but now it's snowing i just don't feel like going anywhere so you'll probably hear the clicking of my shoes on the floor but there's my acrylics again um the tutorial for my manicure and pedicure is one video and the tutorial for my bleaching my hair is another video i did so they're both on uh, my other channel beauty on a budget so just give me a second. I'm just going to rotate the camera. And so I'm just have to say, yes, sorry. I'm using this other small tripod because of my acrylics. I could not reach my larger tripod because it's up on the shelf and there was some stuff was falling. And I'm like, if I try to do that, I'm probably going to break a nail tonight. So I'm using this really small little um, tripod. So just give me a moment. I'm just going to put the tripod on a uh, something so it's up higher so i'll just see you when i'm on the other side of my island okay so i'm on the other side of my island where my stove is i've got my water boiled already for my pasta so i'm just going to pour the pasta in I'm 
grab a couple of these pieces to show the shape of it. So they're just they're just little heart shaped passes. I thought they were so cute. They had them in the different colors. They had them in the red or the white and I decided I'm going to buy the red ones because they look so much nicer. And then I've got my three jars of the Classico Mushroom Alfredo sauce. So I'm just going to get these. I'm going to pour them into a, into the other pot in just one moment. But my um, stove just beeped. So I'm ready to pour the meatballs. I'm just going to do this. It is ready for the meatballs. So I've got just my regular cookie sheet here and these meatballs they say they're already fully cooked so that it doesn't take long to cook these so it just take me a minute to get this open with my acrylics so you just put the oven at 400 and it takes about oh, 12 minutes or so bag it's not like it's gonna go to waste my kids will just eat these up I can always make pasta again tomorrow or I can always make some pasta again tomorrow so I'll get like a nice single layer and I'll just put these in the oven for up I'm gonna put them for 10 minutes it says 10 to 12 minutes so I always start with the lowest amount just to see because every stove is different so I'm just gonna pop these in the oven and I'll be right back Okay, so I've got the meatballs in the oven. I set the timer for 10 minutes. Now I've just got this pan here. I'm just gonna pour in my sauce. Like I said, I'm making a very quick, easy supper tonight. Pour the jars of sauce in here. I don't know how long this takes to cook this Alfredo sauce. I've never done an Alfredo sauce before. Hard to open the jars with acrylics. So now I don't know about adding water to this or not, but I always to get the little bit of the sauce that's left in, I always put a little bit of water into each jar. I'm just gonna do that anyways. Just pour just a little bit of water into each jar. On, just a way to get all the sauce out. I just find just an easy way just to get some of the remaining sauce out that gets stuck in the jars. I hope you can see it's hard because the angle. So it's not a lot of water. Just like I said, um, there's the jar so I just put just uh, I've got like up to where this label is so about halfway between the bottom of the jar and where the label is is all the water I put in just enough so when I shake it some of the sauce that's stuck in the corners and on the side and on the inside of the lid just it comes out for all three a little shake I'm just gonna see what it says for um, do not microwave and char. Okay, so simmer very low heat, stirring occasionally. Just had to read that in case there was any specific rules and, and how to make it, but no, nothing. Just gotta get, just gotta get my pot over here so I can turn my. Pasta is cooking. And the sauce is cooking. So I'm just going to stir the sauce quickly just because I added a little bit of water. Sometimes I, I was doing this, I, sh 
I think now I would have used preferred to use milk instead of water. Milk would have helped it thicken it. But that's okay. I thought of it after I already did that. So now my next one would be doing my garlic bread. If I buy these nice big long French loaves, I think that's what they're called. Yes, a French loaf. Get them for like about a dollar. I'm just gonna cut it in half. As close to half as possible. I always find that kind of hard to do sometimes. And just open it up. I know my camera's just not the best angle. I'm just gonna do one piece at a time so you can see what I'm doing. And then I buy these jars. This is uh, chopped garlic. Sometimes it's chopped, sometimes it's the minced garlic. It's whatever I whatever I happen to get. And of course it's got one of these um, these lid things on it. So I actually got it. Okay. Wrong spoon. I gotta grab the other spoon. I gotta grab the slotted spoon because this one's got some liquid in there. It's hard to know what I don't know. My animals are chasing each other. Didn't know what that was about. No, I just I it's, sometimes it's got the extra liquid and you don't want the extra liquid. I'm just going to put this on here and then when everything is done. So when um when the pasta is cooked and the sauce is done warmed up and the the meatballs are cooked, then I will be putting this in the under the broiler for just a couple minutes. It doesn't take long to make this. So this is a very simple, easy uh, supper, but it just, it looks really impressive when you put everything together, which I like. I like simple things, but that look more impressive and they look like you spent a long time. Like I love garlic bread when it's got like the fresh chunks of garlic, but why go and buy garlic and mince it up when it's just cheaper just to buy the jar? You know, I do, I still do buy like the fresh garlic bulbs. I love the taste of the fresh garlic, but there's just sometimes it's just, you want a quick supper. So just you know, always having the jars is always just easy because the real ones, they don't last very long. These jars, you know, until you open them, they can just sit in the pantry for probably about a year. I don't really know what the shelf life is on a jar of, but I'd say probably just be able to sit in your pantry for about a year without being refrigerated. And then of course, it's once you open it, you have to refrigerate it. But at my house, a jar like this probably barely lasts a month. I'll probably get, you know, make a couple spaghetti meals in a month and I'll probably just end up using it all up or, or even just my kids make themselves a piece of toast and put this on and they kind of get like their own little you know, mini garlic bread. So that's all I'm doing. So this pasta looks like it's almost ready to be drained. The sauce uh, is starting to bubble. That's good. Let's see, I'm just, I can't quite read the timer for my stove. I think it says, oh, about two minutes. So just in a couple minutes, everything should be, you know, almost ready to put together. So I will be back in just a few moments when I'm ready to do the next step for whatever is ready to be done. The timer just went off for the meatballs, so I'm just gonna flip them and stir them around a little bit. Yeah, they're still, I'm just gonna test with my finger. Yeah, they're still cold to the touch. So they're still gonna need probably another four minutes. Just because they've been in my deep freeze for a while, they usually take a little longer. So I'm just gonna set, so it's at uh, 400. So I'm just gonna set my timer for another four minutes. Uh, I just, uh, what did I do? Timer for four minutes, not four hours. There we go. I just forgetting what I'm doing because my other the microwave. If I just do four and start, it's four seconds. Okay, and then over here I've got my pasta. I'm just gonna test it, and it looks like it is cooked. It's ready to be drained, so I'll do that in one minute. I'm just gonna stir the Alfredo sauce. 
it's looking good. And I said, then right here, I've got the two, uh, my garlic bread, ready to go in the oven just before we eat. So I kind of do that when everybody's just serving, lifting up, that's the best time to put it in. That way it's the freshest. So I'm just gonna drain my pasta. So I'm just drained my pasta here. And then just because it's Valentine's, I want everything to look nice. I am actually going to pour everything into Pyrex dishes. Oops. Just give me a second. It's hard to do this with one hand. Okay, so that's my timer. So that means it's been four more minutes already. So here's my nice pasta. I'm pouring it in this Pyrex uh, dish. I'm just gonna quickly Grab the meatballs. Trying to get them out with one hand. I really needed two hands. I'm just gonna move the pasta out of the way. Got this other Pyrex dish here. So I'm just gonna pour these into this dish. Got a nice big dish of the meatballs. It's really not taking me any time to get uh, supper together. And next I'll be getting the Fredo sauce. Lift it up. It's just too hot, even with my gloves on. I don't know, sometimes the pans just seem to be hotter than other days. I don't know why. It's also hard with these acrylics. Just, that, might, that might be part of it too. It's hard to lift up anything because I can't really use my hands the way I you know, hold anything, the way I normally hold things. So everything is just spilling. I don't want to burn myself. I don't want to lose anything on the floor. So I'm just gonna pick these ones up with my fingers. I'm just, I'm just gonna pick the last couple up off the tray with my fingers. It's just, it's gonna be so much faster. There, nice big tray of meatballs. Gonna set this aside. Find room on the counter. Okay, I'm just gonna move this pan so I don't want to burn myself. Okay, now I've got one more nice Pyrex dish here. Just quickly wipe it off. And I'm gonna pour the Alfredo sauce in here. just so I can get some of this extra sauce that kind of got stuck to the side. So there's a couple chunks of mushroom that got stuck there. And we've got all the Alfredo sauce. So now what I'm going to do, because now i got to stop because i got to go pick up my husband from work, I'm just going to put my oven on warm. And I'm just, that's one reason why it's in the Pyrex dishes. So I can put these, I'm going to burn myself, 
<laughs> I'm just going to put these in the oven on warm and go get my husband. And when we're ready to serve and I'm doing the garlic bread, I will be back. I've got the garlic bread in the oven on the broil. So that's at 550 degrees Fahrenheit. I set the timer for five minutes. So it only takes about five minutes to make this garlic bread. You can see it's all toasting in there. And then over here is the rest of the supper. So we've got the heart-shaped pasta, the Alfredo mushroom sauce, meatballs, and Parmesan cheese. And also for a drink, I've got this, the sparkling grape peach cocktail. So that is what we're having for supper tonight. So just a couple minutes and everything will be ready and we'll be you know, ready to lift up and eat. So I just, again, I just wanted to say uh, thank you to everybody who's subscribing to my channels and watching all my videos. And I will see you all in my next videos. Bye.